This is a video explaining how to adjust the limit switches on a Super Duty linear actuator. All of the Super Duty linear actuators have internal limit switches both on the outboard and the inboard. First I will show you how the linear actuator operates right out of the box. The limit switches are adjusted to the maximums. So I'm going to run it all the way out and then all the way back in. The linear actuator is stopped because it reached the outboard limit switch. And now for the inboard. As you can see, the linear actuator moved rather slowly in the video. We have many different models available. Uh, this one is 0.3 inches per second, and it has 1,570 pounds of thrust. So it's very slow but very powerful. Uh, if you need a faster actuator, we have many different models to choose from. In order to access the limit switches inside of the actuator, you will first need to remove the back cover. Once the five screws have been removed and the wire nut has been loosened or removed, you can take off the back cover to access the limit switches. In order to hold the linear actuator together while adjusting the limit switches, we're going to install one screw through the back cover and into the extension tube. This is a zoomed in view of the limit switches and the cam lobes which operate those limit switches. We're going to run the linear actuator out for a second and then back in in order to show you the operation of the inboard limit switch. And the first lobe here is your inboard and the second cam lobe is going to be the outboard cam lobe. I would recommend marking the gears with a sharpie in their stock locations that way if you want to return it to stock it's very easy to do so. I would just put one mark in between the drive gear and the inboard limit assembly and then one in between the inboard and outboard limit assembly. This is the inboard limit location uh, that I've selected for the video. As you can see by the limit switches, the inboard limit is not depressed at the current time. In order to adjust the inboard limit switch, first remove the Phillips head screw. and go ahead and pull it all the way out. At this point you can rotate the whole assembly until it makes contact with the inboard limit switch. And Then you'll want to reinstall the screw.
The inboard position has been set, so now it's time to set the outboard location. First run the actuator to the desired location for the outboard limit switch. For this video, this is going to be our outboard limit. To set the outboard limit switch, loosen the Phillips head screw. Once you have loosened the screw, you can rotate the outer cam assembly while holding on to the inner. Rotate it around until it makes contact with the limit switch and tighten the screw. Both limit switches have now been adjusted. Once your limit switches have been adjusted properly, you can reinstall the back cover and begin using the actuator in your application.